From flooding to tariffs, the agricultural economy in the U.S. is hurting, and lawmakers from the tri-state area are taking notice. South Dakota Senator John Thune just today recognizing farmers are hurting nationwide and not just in the Midwest. That's our top story today at 5. Combination of low commodity prices, protracted trade disputes, and natural disasters, and weather-related issues have left many farmers and ranchers struggling. Nationwide, net farm income is about half of what it was in 2013. Half. Senator Thune added that by passing the new United States-Mexico-Canada agree Canada agreement, things should ease for some farmers. That agreement might be put on hold, though, after President Trump threatened new tariffs on Mexican goods. Those could go into effect as soon as next week if an agreement on immigration is not met. ABC's Tara Palmieri is in Washington and has the latest. President Trump standing by his threat to impose tariffs on Mexico, the U.S.'s third largest trading partner. Mexico can stop it. They have to stop it. Otherwise, we just won't be able to do business. It's a very simple thing. The president says unless the Mexican government stops the flow of undocumented migrants through the southern border, the U.S. will slap a 5% tariff on Mexican goods starting Monday. The president threatening to add an additional 5% every month, maxing out at 25% in October if migration continues at these high levels. The pressure is on Vice President Mike Pence and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to strike a deal with the Mexican foreign minister and his delegation, who are in Washington this afternoon for some 11th hour diplomacy. I think they want to make a deal. And they sent their top people to try and do it. We'll see what happens today. Both Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill are against the punitive measures. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says U.S. consumers will pick up the costs. Punishing Mexico will be punishing uh, America as well. Senate Republicans threatening to vote against the measure with a veto-proof majority. Yeah, the 25% tariff, tariff would wreak havoc on the American economy. The president is in the middle of trade negotiations with Mexico and Canada for a multilateral trade deal, and lawmakers are worried that these new tariff threats could jeopardize that deal. Tara Palmieri, ABC News, Washington.